Yo, what's going on guys? It's Swanson here, bringing you another game for the 365 Days of Gaming Challenge. And the reason why I'm not on an actual main menu screen is the game automatically started. Uh, and there was copyright music on the actual title screen. So yeah, we're playing Mafia 3 today. And we're getting straight into it guys, so let's do it. New Bordeaux, LA, February 27, 1968, Mardi Gras. Mafia 3 is so fucking good, but yeah, we played Mafia 1, we played Mafia 2, and I thought, you know what, we might as well play Mafia 3 as well. So uh, this will probably be the first episode of uh, a playthrough. Say this is the craziest goddamn thing I ever heard. Using real money to rob the feds. Well, hell man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grab the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. All right, let's do this. Right, first things first, I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, just like many videos, uh, turn the fucking music off, as I ain't getting copyright, as there is a lot of music in this game. Uh, and unfortunately, I will get copyright up the absolute ass. Uh, if I do not turn it off. But yeah, Mafia 3, I, it's weird. I've played a lot of Mafia 2. Uh, I say it's more story-based. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, fuck you. Never leave any, uh, what's it called? Ends? Loose ends? There we go, that's what I meant. But yeah, like I said, I played Mafia 2, loved it, and I've played Mafia 1, but I don't know, uh, Mafia 3, man, I fucking, I, I had such a good time playing it, and for the first time, I actually finally played the DLC, uh, like, not even that long ago for the first time, um, as when it first originally came out, I didn't buy the DLC, and then with the Definitive Edition, you get all of the DLC for free, and that's how I was like, oh, that's minted, and I got right back into Mafia 3. Replayed it again, done all the DLC, and it was just minted. And um, so I'm literally itching to play it again. That's why I threw the Mafia games in there uh, on the challenge, as I wasn't too sure I was ever actually going to put them on the challenge. Um, but yeah, I will definitely be doing a playthrough of Mafia One, Two, and definitely now Three. All right, we're pulling up. But yeah, I actually love this intro to this game. It's a shame I can't include the music because the music's like key in the like intro to this game. Back it up to the loading dock. Now, if at any po if at any point, by the way, um, the the volume goes like there's no volume, um, it's because I'm gonna have to try and bleep or uh, mute some of the conversation as the N word is used. Uh, I'm not too sure if that's allowed on YouTube. I don't think it is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think it is. Um, so yeah, if you ever hear the the scene or uh, the the commentary or whatever the speech uh, just suddenly go mute, it's because of that. Unfortunately, I think this game's set and obviously that time where that word was used quite a lot, which is unfortunate. I like he's like, as for you, and I'm way over here already waiting. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, so, like I said. 
One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. Oh, shut up. You can pick it up on the way out. Like I said, it's it's so unfortunate that I can't include the music because just at like the perfect mm -hmm. moment of the intro, like Rolling Stones painted black plays and it's just so good. Like it makes the scene so good. Like just the copyright's not worth it. I don't I don't make any money from like the videos and stuff, but having a copyright claim just sucks. Like I can always see it and it always just annoys me, especially as well when you get like a partially blocked video. Because of a song, like it won't be shown in like specific countries. There'll be very random countries, um, but still, like I, I'd rather just have my videos completely perfect. You gonna listen? These bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Yeah, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. Yeah, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. Here we are. Where'd I put them? I think it's over here. Put those bags on the table there. Done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Damn. Yeah, anyway. That guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. Right, give me a second. Take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the yeah, fuck yeah, I'm no. doing. If I can get through, that'd be great. Ah, oh, bollocks. Anyway. Enter the vault. Oh, well, apparently there was music playing anyway. Well, I'll be damned. All right, go for it, Godzilla. Oh, Surely you would go for the gold. Shit. It's beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take care of this room. You see what you can get from outside. Mm. Once these boys punch you with that drill, we're gonna start throwing this down. Hey, I'm gonna pull this off. Yes, we are. Let's do this. Muffy, you up? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. Damn. Come on. Fuck you. Don't think you can take me.
Oh shit! He didn't even come up on the fucking radar there! Absolute BS. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I was about to say, I swear you got a machine gun at one point. <laughs> Try open the armor, yeah. Give me that damn thing. Oh, we get bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Oh shit. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Right, I'm gonna take that and that, and I'm also gonna take some health. Thank you very much. Alright, let's fucking do this. Hit him with the smoke. Shit, man, these guys ain't fucking around. Face way worse than this over and now. Little smoke don't mean shit. Stay close to the ball. Yeah, don't mean shit. Drill. I'll deal with these assholes. Because <laughs> Sammy had men all over the place. That did it? Stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve is timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. from Vietnam that's right I was a marine in the Pacific you take it from me just because you're home doesn't mean you're back you understand <laughs> people around here they don't they don't get it <laughs> never will <laughs> keep your ass out of trouble Crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clay. You seen him? He used to get checked off if you were even a minute late. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> how was the trip? Be as how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it. It was fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. All right, let's do this. So Sammy's doing all right. Ever since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train? Mm -hmm. Oh, sh oh, sh you seen that? She she dove in to my car for some reason. <laughs> like I was saying, ever since we got your telegram about coming mm -hmm. home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? Oh, look at that drift. It's decent. Like a four out of ten. Oh shit, 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 shit. Get out of the way. Now, I popped the subtitles on because I put the cin cinematics volume down because that's where the fucking the music comes from. Unfortunately, police were wearing it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire. So yeah, if it's a bit quiet, I apologize. Alright, we have arrived. No man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kitty pool. Come in. Come on, we're going through the front. Sorry, I ain't having your wall here. I asked you at the back door. Uh, I was trying to get through the front. <laughs> I 
went somewhere they knew how to cook. <laughs> Welcome home, son. How are you? I'll be better once I get some of that shine in me. <laughs> I always did love corn whiskey. I would like to make a toast. My father used to say that the real worth of a man came from the mark he left on the world. When Lincoln first told me he was joining the military, I was against it. Too dangerous, I say. Let those people fight their own war, I say. But then I realized Lincoln needed to go out and make his mark. And that's precisely what he did. I'm so, so proud of you. For Lincoln, bienvenue à la maison. seeing you, Lincoln. Oh, I kept you in my prayers. I really appreciate that, Father. <laughs> now, who wants to get shit-faced? <laughs> Woo! It's hard to explain what it's like coming home from war. Elation. Fear. Imagine being trapped in a dark room and there's no way out. And every fear, every nightmare you ever had is in that room with you. And there's no escape from any of them. And then one day a door opens and you're free to go. choice do you have every soldier has to walk through that door one way or another man <laughs> whiskey's going to in the morning hell man just sleep it off the room's the same as you left it i'm gonna take the basement <laughs> the basement why the fuck you want to crash down there i'll see you in the morning All right, we are going down to the basement. And uh, yeah, there's a Playboy magazine over there, but if I definitely do not want to get banned, I ain't picking that up. <laughs> Talk to Sammy and Ellis. Okay. We barely have two nickels scrubbed together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you would have listened to me. What mess? It's not something you need to worry about, Dinka. Got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, I'm not warning you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. But like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I figured we got enough out there for. Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier families. I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know it is. It's 
someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Go on. Those people waiting on the food. Oh, I saw Lang a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me he wanted to leave town, head out to California. Now, he had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those so he decided to stay in hell. Those Haitians, they are bad news. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lankin was always loyal. Most likely, three month apprenticeship to start. Then the that was so weird. The in the bottom left, the uh, thing was like so small. Like the writing. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Oh, what's this record? Oh yeah, we can pick up records. It's fine. <laughs> you need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Okay. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. I will. Warm meal, warm heart, full shot. Does he, uh, oh, there we go. Thanks. How's your day been? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's in the bottom left. Sorry, my microphone's, uh, not showing the way it says serve gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. Hey there, Lincoln. How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the hollow again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble. Run, Regine. Get away. Watch the oh, door. damn. Why am I still, I was about to say, I'm still throwing the pot. Damn! Motherfuckers over here. Where's the other one? Boom! Fuck you! Give me that gun. President of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. Uh, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? Got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose I did. Six to uh, seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. And those bad pals on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit for Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Jesus Christ. 
If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. But this thing with the Haitians... It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How we gonna find them? Back in the 20s... Folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. Up to it, away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or we can sweep the hollow. Track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet. Away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. Des mises qui sait, qui veut cesser, suscite l'hostilité. Never going to be over. Oh, we on the fire. Last thing Born on, on the fire. You head back round to the row. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. Swim to the dock. Oh yeah, I'll just casually swim. Fucking alligators lurking about. Yes, I know. Fuck off. Papa Legba, open the gate for the other one. That's me, I'm Lincoln Clay. Damn, bitch. Yeah. Two for two. Oh, yeah. Uh, where do I go now? Through here? I don't know how good that was. <laughs> like, I mean, then, like, was that smart or? <laughs> Damn! Fuck his ass up. I don't know where his VPAL went. Damn, what a takedown that was. I think this might be the most silent I've ever done this mission. <laughs> right, I can't go around that bit. I was trying to explode that. There we go. <laughs> it's 
there's a guy over there. Oh, what a shot. Reload, reload. Fuck you. Oh. No, 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 no. I don't want to shoot that. I want to shoot that. Really? The fucking... These noise... That is clearly an explosive, explodable tank. Fuck's sake, man. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. Oh, shit. I went the wrong way. Well shot his head. Is that fucker still not dead? Jesus. Fuck you. All right, we've got to fight our way out. Oh damn! Shit. Yeah, Molotovs and grenades. I get it. I get it. I get it. Right. I'm gonna actually grab a better weapon and some health. I was trying to kick the door and it was clearly not working. <laughs> Alright. Let's actually get out there. Alright, the aim assist is fucking well good. <laughs> I'll take the aim assist all day, man. I don't give a shit. Yeah, 
How is he not dying? Nah, that's fucking bullshit. What the fuck, man? He only had the superpower there. Would it? What the fuck is it? Why is it doing this? There, pick, up, pick the gun up. Thank you. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I need to heal. Where's that guy? Oh, is it behind there? I think I just said, I swear the pistol's spare. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Fucking have a mole to the back, you prick. Oh, can I? I don't even have a fucking wall dog. Oh, what a shot! Would you shut up? Oh, for fuck's sake. No, you're not. Shit. Come on, you little fucker. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where the fuck is he? Oh shit! Yeah, obviously. That's just fucking nuts. Take cover. Hey. Yeah, about fucking time. Are you gonna let me drive or can I get in? Okay. Why would you not just scoot over? Get in! Do this! Always gotta get you out of trouble, don't I? You yeah, pretty much. I am. How'd it go with Baka? We came to an understanding. He stayed dead, not let him. Let's get back to the <laughs> Alright, guys, we're gonna call it there decent amount of time played on the game um, like I said I fucking love this game so we'll definitely be this is going at the top of the list to do playthroughs or as all the Mafia games so yeah if you did enjoy this please make sure you leave a like hit that subscribe button and I will catch you tomorrow with another video peace